After a stellar performance in 2013, CBUS has recorded another year of strong returns. With us here today is Trish Donoghue, CBUS Executive Manager Investment Management, to talk us through some of the highlights from 2014. Trish, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Danielle. Trish, it's been a year of strong growth for CBUS. How much money is the fund managing? Well, it has been a strong year of growth for CBUS. As at 30 June this year, we had over $27 billion in funds under management. And how has the fund performed over the last financial year? So CBUS has achieved a really strong return over the past year. And for those members who are in our growth, my super option, which makes up about 90% of where our members invest, we have achieved a return of 13.9%. So this return puts the growth option in the top 25% of super funds performance for the year. Setting aside short term performance, how has the fund performed over the longer term? Well, the longer term is really what matters to our members, so we remain focused on achieving some strong returns over that time. So since inception of CBUS, which was 1984, we've achieved a return on average of over 9% per year. What factors have contributed to the positive return for the 2014 financial year? Well, Danielle, all asset classes in the fund uh, contributed positively this year, but in particular we had some strong performance from share markets, both in Australia and overseas. So the Australian shares, which make up about a third of our portfolio, achieved a return of over 17% for the year. For international shares, that was a return of over 19%, and that makes up about 20% of our portfolio. Trish, are there any highlights you'd like to share from the last financial year? Well, Danielle, we continued to evaluate what products are appropriate for our members over the year. As a result, we've introduced a new conservative growth option for those members in retirement. And this is an option that invests across a number of asset classes, including shares, fixed interest, property infrastructure and cash. We also laid the groundwork for members to be able to invest directly into Australian shares, exchange traded funds and term deposits through the introduction of our new CBUS self-managed option, which is going to be introduced in September this year. Trish, has the investment strategy changed over the year? So, Daniela, over the past financial year, and as we move into this financial year, we've maintained an underweight position to fixed income assets, mainly due to the low interest rate environment. To offset that position, we've been increasing our allocation to cash over the year, so that we maintain a sufficient level of defensive assets in the portfolio. And Trish, what can members expect going forward? Well, Daniela, the returns for the fund over the past two years have been particularly strong. However, we do see that there is some uncertainty out there in the global economy, particularly in the US, and the potential for a slowdown in China and what that might do for the Australian markets in particular. So to offset that, the CBUS portfolio remains particularly well diversified, and we believe that that is well placed to provide our members with strong returns over the longer term. We also continue to invest in property and infrastructure, which assists us with providing those strong returns, as well as providing job opportunities for our members. Thanks, Trish. Thanks, Daniela. From the 8th of September this year, CBUS will be offering members a new investment option, CBUS Self-Managed. The new option will allow eligible members to directly invest a portion of their super in a range of Australian shares, exchange traded funds and term deposits. CBUS Self-Managed offers many of the features of a self-managed super, such as flexibility and control, but without the administration and compliance burden. Members can find out more at our website.